Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm out on my daily exercise. It's a pretty cold day. You can see all the mud on the ground is, is frozen, so you can um, basically go home with rather clean boots still, um, which is what I quite like about this cold weather. So I'm on the very edge of Chalvin St Peter stroke Chalvin St Giles, and um, as we come to this road here, well, you'll see there's a quite an array of footpath signs here. Look at this, so it's a public right of way. It's a Chilton Way, it's a Chilton Heritage Trail. Um, so yeah, quite a few interesting things. We're not doing any of them today. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go into um, Newlands Park Estate, down the public footpath. So um, the Newlands Park Estate is where the Chilton Open Air Museum is. So we're not gonna go to the Chilton Open Air Museum today. We're gonna go to um, across the border to the Hertfordshire village of Heronsgate. I'll explain more when we get there, but this is the Newlands Park Estate. You can just about see up there the um, Newlands Park Mansion, um, but the footpath takes us over here. So I can't go and show you that today. Um, but one day what we'll do, we'll come to the Children Open Air Museum perhaps when it's open and uh, have a look around there because it really is a very interesting museum. It's well worth a visit. So um, this is the Newland Park Estate. You can just see that little gatehouse there. It's got scaffolding around it. So the footpath will take us across here. What I'm going to do, uh, when we get to the border of Hertfordshire, um, I'll show you a little bit more from then on. So I'm going to carry on walking across these fields. I've just come across the field from where we were at the gatehouse, just to show you, it's still quite cold, look, there's a pond with a load of ice on it, and it might make the video exciting, but I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to try and walk across the ice, um, but you know, the sort of thing I have done in the past, not today though. Anyway, as we get to here, here we have a big area of development going on. Now, this video isn't actually meant to be about Newlands Park, but since I've got to walk through Newlands Park to get to where we're going, I might as well show you and we'll have a little look at what's going on. So, there used to be a university up here, which closed a few years ago, and um, about a year ago, up until a year ago or so, there was loads of halls of residence here, and they demolished them all, and I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks as though they're building like a load of Nissan huts that you'd see in the war. So it's a very strange and interesting development. So if anyone knows what, what is going on up here at Newlands Park, um, please do comment and tell me. Because admittedly I've not done any research on what's going on here because this isn't the subject of today's video. What I need to do now is follow the footpath get off the Newlands Park estate, cross the border into Hertfordshire, and then I'm going to take you to a rather different English village. So let's, let's get on with the walk. So I've worked my way right the way around the Newland Park estate, still on public footpath, um, but we are soon going to leave the estate. Look at this though, this is the uh, well, it's all fenced off, so we can't get in. This isn't one of my abandoned videos, so we're certainly not going in. But this, well, this is a bit abandoned, um, if you like, an abandoned driveway. This must have been one of the main gateways to the Newland Park estate, but as I said, we're not going any further, can't go any further. But perhaps one day, I don't know. We'll definitely do Chilton Open Air Museum. Whether we'll ever get to see any more of the estate other than the footpaths, I, I can't say at this stage. I, I don't know what the future is going to bring or what the developments are, whether we will be allowed to go and have a look, we might be. Um, okay, I am currently seem to be standing in goal, but I haven't got to worry about missing the goal because no one's playing football. We are about to leave the Newland Park estate and in so doing we will also leave Buckinghamshire, it's where we'll cross to Hertfordshire. So um, when we get to here, you can see there's a gate, right. I go through this gateway. And as we come onto this path here, now this path here, looking that way, this is 
Old Shire Lane. It's the boundary between Buckinghamshire and Hertfordshire. As we come into here, we are definitely now officially in Hertfordshire. So that, that lane, it's not really a lane anymore, it's a, a footpath. It's called Old Shire Lane. It runs from Denham, or the edge of Denham, to Chorley Wood. So perhaps what we'll do, maybe some point, well, perhaps soon, I'll go and do a video on that. We'll just walk the whole of Old Shire Lane. And um, literally, if you walk it, one leg's in Buckinghamshire, the other leg's in Hertfordshire. But we are now fully in Hertfordshire. Um, up over there, well, up over there is Greater London and Harefield. So we're kind of where Buckinghamshire, Greater London, Hertfordshire meet, but we're not gonna be going into Greater London in this video. Um, so, Old Shire Lane's over there. We're now in Buckinghamshire. The camera's not gonna, sorry, we're in Hertfordshire. The camera won't pick it out, but I can see some towers in the distance over in London. They are right over there. Um, we're gonna, there's a horse up here. We're walking through a field with a horse. We've got to walk right past this horse. I wonder what the horse is gonna think about being featured in my video. So, um, as well as coming into Hertfordshire, we're in an area of Hertfordshire known as the Free Rivers District. Um, it basically covers Rickmansworth, Chorley Wood, um, below and above Watford. It doesn't cover Watford. Watford, the town of Watford, largest town in Hertfordshire, is a different administrative area. Hello, horse. Hello. Very cold, isn't it? I can see you've got your coat on. Well, you've got some, he's got some nice dinner. So I'm gonna leave the horse to his lunch because um, I'm sure he's more interested in his lunch than he is being featured. Goodbye. So yeah, he's not even gonna say goodbye. Um, anyway, so let's continue this footpath. We're heading for those woods over there. That's gonna take us where we're going. So, Free Rivers District. The one thing I think is quite funny was I was talking to some Americans once and um, I just casually mentioned the Free Rivers District and they said, oh yeah, yeah, we've heard of the Peak District and we've heard of um, the Lake District, but we've never heard of the Free Rivers District. What's the Free Rivers District like? And I was thinking, I can just imagine in their minds, they're imagining these three really idyllic valleys of three different rivers to then meet up at some, you know, really amazing town where there's a nice cathedral and a heritage railway and no pandemic and, you know, just a, that, that's what they were probably imagining. I was just like, yeah, it's just an area outside London. You know, it's pleasant, but it's no national park or anything. Perhaps we should make this the Free Rivers District National Park. Maybe not. Anyway, we're going to go through those woods. We're heading for that village over there. It's called Heron's Gate. I'll explain more when we get to the other side of the woods. So here we are. We're in the woodlands. It's called Bottom Wood. Oh, and there is a fallen tree, so I'm going to be a child and because um, I never really grow up, I'm just going to walk across it for fun. Can I balance? Never done balancing act like this, holding a camera. But the fact I'm only like two feet above the ground, <laughs> I'm not too worried about falling off. There we go. Just had to do that. Some ways I just never grow up when I see things like that. Um, that one's not quite as exciting to walk across because that one's literally on the ground. Anyway, so this is Bottom Wood, quite a pleasant woodland, very wintry place to go, quite deserted. You know, when you go out for your walks, you know, especially in lockdown, sometimes everywhere you go, there's just people everywhere. You go to woodland sometimes, there's more people than trees, which um, it's lovely to see that so many people want to go out and about, it, that, that's great, but sometimes it's just nice to come to a woodland and feel like you're the only one here. It's just a, just a sense of um, you and the trees and maybe a few squirrels and not a lot else. So what we're going to do, we're going right down into the valley. We're going to go up the other side to Heronsgate, which is this village I've been mentioning. This village, it's a bit of a different village. It's not your typical English village. Um, it was originally called O'Connorsville. Interesting name. Um, I'll explain why in a moment. And then it became Herringsgate, but now it's known as Heronsgate. And uh, it's a very pleasant place. It's just on the edge of Chorley Wood. So um, we're not going to go as far as Chorley Wood today, because that really would be quite a long walk. Um, so I'm just going to walk up to Herringsgate, and I'm going to turn around and head back, maybe a slightly different route. Um, but I just like to make my walks as varied as possible. And yes, they get a bit longer sometimes because um, 
I sometimes find I'm always going down the same footpaths over and over again. Um, it's like one of my favourite ones I did in another video. Have a look at the link on screen now. Would have walked down over way. That that you know that was footpath I do a lot in lockdown. I'm not walking on that this log. Bit too high. Because that's the one disadvantage. If you did fall off a log like this in a woodland where there's no one else about, um, no one to rescue you if you get hurt. So uh, we come to a junction down here. I have been down here a couple of times during the lockdown. In um, towards the end, well, no, yeah, when we had the first lockdown last year, and the weather was really nice, and my walks got a bit longer, I did come down to these woodlands um, on a couple of times, and then another time I did go to Heron's Gate, but I didn't come this way. I think if you go down that footpath, that'll take you out to a lane which goes to Maple Cross, which is um, a small village uh, near, well, kind of between Harefield and the Chalfonts, really. So we're going to, I'm going to, in a moment, show you once we get out of the woodland where we're going. You might just be able to faintly hear the M25, I'm not sure if you can, or I can just hear it because I know it's not that far away from us. Um, so that could give you, we're, we're going to come up close to the M25 soon. We're not actually going to cross the M25, so I'll explain that in a moment. Anyway, we are now coming to the end of the woodland, so um, I've, we'll have to walk through the woodlands to go back though so I haven't finished with woodlands for today but possibly for this video if we have anyway we get to here and um, I'm gonna go up that hill and the village of Heronsgate is behind those trees over there so I'm gonna go up the hill and uh, I'll show you more when we get there so when we were back in the woods I did say you might be able to hear the motorway I'm sure you can hear the motorway now there's the M25 and there's a direction sign saying um, Rickmansworth, Maple Cross, slightly further field, Amersham, Watford and Stansted Airport. I had the idea of going on holiday, that sounds such a distant thing. Um, almost makes you wonder why there's even any point in the sign still being there. But anyway, I'm sure that's a bit too pessimistic. Um, I'm sure fairly soon, you know, we will be able to go to airports and go on holiday again. And um, I'll be able to make videos all around Europe. So do look forward to that. But anyway, for the time being, I'm making videos in the Free Rivers District and Buckinghamshire and yeah around here really so we're now coming to the edge of Heron's Gate um, as far as I'm aware the village never went any further this way so they didn't have to demolish any of it to put the motorway through we get to here and there's a gate we go through this little gateway here and this will take us into Heron's Gate so we can leave the motorway behind and by the way probably only about less than a mile that way it's where it goes over the metropolitan line which was a uh, subject of um, one of my other recent videos so do have a look at link on screen now and you can see what it looks like where the metropolitan line goes under the m25 anyway heronsgate here we are here is the first of these very typical heronsgate houses so i'm gonna have to tell you now a little bit about the village um this village was set up by um, an accountant called Fergus O'Connor, hence the reason the village was originally called O'Connorsville. Um, it was set up in 1846, and it was all kind of finished by 1847. The idea was that people who worked in factories could come and have their own plot of land and um, get away from working in the factories, get away from the cities, live out in this rural countryside, and um, generally improve their lives. And in some cases it meant they had the right to vote so the people would have moved out out to this area it was a cooperative of a village so everyone put something in everyone got something back um so yes yeah, it's, it's, it's a very pleasant place so this is the end of one of the residential roads it's kind of on a grid system although a very small grid system there's this road here which is dead straight and then there's another road over there, there's a little stud farm here. There's another road on the other end of the stud farm. And then there's one road that goes down the middle, um, which is where the church is. There's a village hall, which um, I'm not, I have been there once, because funny enough, talking about the right to vote, it was election day. And um, I was going, um, it was at a time when I was involved with the local Ramblers, and they were meeting at a pub in Chorley Wood. 
and I didn't know where the pub was and uh, I probably didn't have internet on my phone in those days so I went into the I saw where it said polling station so I went into the polling station in the village hall here to um, ask them where this pub was so yeah um, things you do oh let's have a look at that Chartres Cottage nice car too so look at that 150 years so this must be where one of perhaps the more important people of Heronsgate lived. Anyone watching who lives in Heronsgate or knows more about Heronsgate than I do, uh, do you know? Do please feel free to comment and tell me. So this is another one of those Heronsgate-style houses. So um, there's a few of those blue plaques around. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to continue walking up here because it does go on for quite a way, even though there's not actually that many houses because they're nicely spread out. So it probably, it probably is a really nice place to live, this village. And you're about a mile away from the railway station at Chorley Wood. So I'm going to carry on walking until we get to the village centre. So I've come about a quarter of a mile. I'm still on the same road. And this is basically the centre of Heronsgate. Laurel hedges everywhere. We are going to go down there because that's where the church is, but I'll just show you this. So, Nottingham Road South, where we've just come from. But now we're going to go down Nottingham Road North. So, we're going to head north, up Nottingham Road North. We're not going to Nottingham. Not today, anyway, maybe another day. I haven't been down this road. Well, I haven't been down this road before, for not for a while. There's more of the same style of houses. So, you can see it's very uniform. It's not quite what I'd call the Garden City movement, um, you know, like Welling Garden City. It's not quite that sort of place, um, but you know, it's it's similar in that how all the buildings are similar, um, I suppose. Uh, this, this is that little village hall that I, I came to that time once to ask for directions to a pub when there was an election on, when it was been in use as a polling station. Um, so let's just have a look. Quite a cute little building. Little village hall. So I don't think there's any shops or anything in this village. Um, go to Chorley Wood if you wanted to go shopping. Oh, and have a look at that. There's a, a blue plaque. So this was built in 1844. So that's older than what I thought Heronsgate was. But um, the blue plaque you can see it says, "In proud memory of O'Connorville." It was founded here in 1847 by Fergus O'Connor. He was an MP. He was a charterist, idealist, and a social reformer. So that shows it was founded in 1847 um but the building says 1844 so the building must have been here first so if anyone knows um a bit more what else was here in 1844 when it was just this building um you know do do please comment and tell me i'd be very interested to know you know there's a few more houses the road carries on i'm not gonna go up there today maybe another time um but yeah cute little village hall anyway i'm gonna head now back down nottingham road and we're going to go the other way. I'm going to go and find the church. I'll leave you a village hall and then we're going to go and find the little church. So, I'm now going to take you into the church. My appearance has changed slightly. I've taken my hat off because I mentioned we're hats in church. I've got very hat here at the moment. And I've got my face covering on because you have to wear face coverings indoors now. Here is St John's Church. Very cute little church. Let's go and have a look inside. So um, yeah, it is open today, it's open on Sunday, so there's no services on at the moment for fairly obvious reasons, but we can go in, have a look. Let's have a look in this little church. Here we go. Oh, quite small, but pleasant still. Look at that, how the um, uh, shadow of the light is reflecting on the wall. Quite like that. So this is St John's Church. It's a Church of England church. Walk up here and um, put tape so I won't go any further but you can see the whole church pretty much. It's a really pleasant little church. So um, yeah, there's something quite nice about small churches. Um, well to be honest I like any church. Big, small, ruined, um, you know, just something nice about being in churches. I think we'll do. Um, so, there's the font there. Well, it says that they're not there, but I'll just show you. As you can see, it says church postcards 20p. Um, obviously, they've taken them away for obvious reasons, which is understandable, but if this was a normal time, 
I'll probably put 20p, maybe a little bit more as a donation and have that church postcard. So that's a bit of a shame, but I'm not complaining. You know, I, I'm grateful that we can actually be here in the church when I'm out on my day exercise. But perhaps when things get back to normal, I'll come here and I'll give them that 20p for the postcard. Let's go back outside. And um, before... Let's get a nice little porch I've got here. No the window there. Right, as soon as we're outside, my mask is slipping off, I'm going to take it off then, because I don't need it outside. Let's have a little walk around the outside, and then I think it's time to end this video. Is there a graveyard on the back? Very smooth. Hmm, interesting. So it says this Garden of Remembrance. Let's go from here. There's no, appears to be no graves, but it's obviously a Garden of Remembrance. So maybe any parishioners here, maybe they get buried in Chorley Wood. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, this is the back of this rather um, cute little church. And um, I'll just take you around here. We'll get that classic view of um, Heronsgate Church. And then I've pretty much shown you the, the sights of Heronsgate. And um, time for me to begin my long walk back. Oh, and there is ice everywhere. Almost could have bought ice skates. So yeah, I've got to make sure I don't slip over. It might be amusing for the viewers, but it might not be best for me. Look at that lovely Wellingtonia tree just there. Well, there is St John's Church. Oh, and have a look at this. Halifax Road North. As I said, it's a grid system, so this parallels Nottingham Road. And there is Halifax Road South. So it's a very pleasant village. I like it here up at Heronsgate. And if you wanted to go to the railway station or um, anywhere else, then that's the only road out of the village that will take you to Chorley Wood, which is about a mile away. Um, I could walk to Chorley Wood, but I'm not going to because that would make it maybe in the summer. Um, I'm going to walk home now. So I hope you enjoyed this video from Heronsgate. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And um, ooh, the postman. Didn't know the postman worked on a Sunday. Anyway, yeah, please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you very much for watching. From the lovely little village of Heronsgate and St John's Church, goodbye.